How's it going, my aristocrats? I hope you're all having a great day. So today I just wanted to talk a little bit about how no fap and semen retention in general just like makes you so much more of like a magnetic person. Like it's something that I can't even really explain, but like especially like on this streak, I've noticed that there's like so much attention being directed towards me. And like I, I love it. Like, don't get me wrong. Like I love I love when like people come up to me and like approach me and like talk to me and everything like that. But like <clears throat> I've noticed that there was, like, a huge uptick of it, particularly, like, on this streak. And so, like, well, when I was about, like, seven or eight days in is when I started noticing it. Like, girls would, girls would like, start, like, making eye contact with me and everything like that. Like, they would just, like, start, like, looking at me. And, like, I would look, like, out of the corner of my eye. And I would, like, look back at them. And then they would, like, quickly, like, look away. <laughs> but um, they would, like, start looking at me. And then, like, um, after day, like, 15 or so, like, I just started getting, like, more attention from people in general. Like, people would, um, people would, like, come up to me and, like, ask me for, uh, ask me for, like, directions or ask me for, like, oh, like, what's this or what's that or, like, I, I don't know. Like, it's just very hard to explain, I guess. And then <clears throat> I remember, like, I was in, I was in Minnesota again. Like, <laughs> I know I've been talking about Minnesota a lot, but like, I, I just love that trip. Like it was just, it was amazing. Very underrated state. But for those of you who know me, I'm, I'm a maritime historian. So when I went to Minnesota, I made the effort to go to, uh, to go to like ship, mu like ship and maritime related, like museums and stuff like that as well. And so like at one of the ships that we went to, there was this um there was this old sailor who was in the who was in the pilot house the pilot house of a ship is like where you, where you steer the ship and everything like that but um so he was he was like in the pilot house cuz like he worked at the museum and um so like we start we start like getting into like a conversation and i told him i told him that i was uh that i was like a maritime historian and everything and he he just seemed like so excited he, like, the, like this man, he, he's been a sailor for, like, 30 years or so. Like, he's not anymore, but, like, he was. He was he was a sailor for, like, 30 years or something like that. And he, he just seemed so excited to, like, see somebody that, like, that was, like, interested in that stuff, too. And, like, he was, he had me there for, like, a good, like, 15, 20 minutes, maybe. And he was just, like, him and I were just, like, talking about, like, maritime history and, like, ship stuff and everything like that. <laughs> Like, it was just, like, a great experience, I guess. But, like, I like that's never really happened to me before. I get, like, even on, like, my previous streaks, like, no one's, no, no, I'm not going to say, like, nobody, but, like, it's been happening, like, a lot more, like, this, this particular streak, too. And just yesterday, for example, like, I was in, um, I was in the city and, like, I was on the train headed home. Or I was, like, waiting in the station, like, for the train headed home. And, like, some, um, and, like, this guy, he asked me for, um, he asked me, like, if this was the right train like to get like to get like to where we were going i'm like oh yeah like it is and then like i don't like nowhere he just like starts talking to me about like, like some like random stuff <laughs> and like a lot of people get annoyed by that but i don't i love when people do that to me like like when people like approach me and just like start like talking about like something that's like going on in their life or like something that like there's um something that they're like going through or something like i love when that happens to me because, like, I, I just like to give advice and, like, I, I like to, uh, I like to listen to people and, like, I like to listen to their story and, like, their, um, their life and everything like that. So, like, that's definitely something that I like to do. And when, um, and when he, he approached me and everything, like, he just, like, started talking to me and everything. And <clears throat> so he, he runs, like, some, um, like, he runs, like, a business that, like, um, sells cars, to, like, car dealerships and everything. And he was telling me about, like, all the cool cars and whatnot that he gets to drive. Like, he he drives, like, um, Range Rovers and like Rolls Royces and like stuff like that, like very very high end high end luxury cars, and he ships them like overseas to Dubai and like all these like amazing places, and I was like awesome. <laughs> like he showed me some of the pictures of like some of the cars that he was driving, or like some of the cars that he gets to drive like to the to like the port so that like, they would like ship it overseas and everything. That that was awesome, like honestly. But yeah, like these people, like they just people, like they really just start to like approach you and everything. <laughs> they they really just start to like approach you and like and like e even girls sometimes like I was literally in the airport on the way home I was on the on the airport like on the way home from from Minnesota like I just landed back home and um like I went to go get like some some cheesecake from uh from like a restaurant in in the airport like they make very very phenomenal cheesecake and um 
<clears throat> the girl and I were like, there was like some cute girl like behind the counter and everything. And so like her and I kind of like got, got into like a conversation and everything. I was like teasing her a bit and everything, made her laugh. And she, <laughs> she seemed like a bit like attracted to me. Like I could kind of feel it. And that's like another thing that you'll notice when you're on NoFap as well. Like you can kind of feel these things. Like you can feel when like someone's looking at you, you get like this tingling like sensation or whatnot. Like if someone's like looking at you or something like you'll know, or like if someone has like some kind of like attraction for you or like something like that, like you'll know, you'll know. And <clears throat> like, I, I definitely felt that between like her and I honestly, like I should have like gotten her number or something, but like, uh, there's always next time. There's always next time. Anyways, guys, that's, uh, th that's going to be it for, for this video. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace.